Praise the Lord. <laughs> Got distracted. I was looking at a tree over here and thinking, well, I need to put, you know, this little kind of, uh, I have a humidifier. Basically to keep it cooler, but also to put moisture back into the air because it gets so hot and dry on this porch that I think maybe the plants could use a break. And then I read somewhere and studied recently about how humidity helps you breathe, you know, at night. Uh, it can open up, you know, a lot of your esophageal airways. For a lot of people that have issues, you know, they use a humidifier. And then I thought about how the world had a canopy over at one time and how God had more humidity in the air at one time. And I thought, you yeah. know not a bad thing to add. <laughs> See, I think that way. I know, a little weird. But you know what's interesting is that often when I work on the internet or in the ministry, I do lots of things, you know, I mean, I, I do a lot. I mean, there's, there's a lot going on all the time. But not just videos, but you know, there's blogs and there's writings and there's, you know, Christian fiction books and all kinds of things that get involved in comments. And, you know, a lot of times I don't even know that, that um, because people don't usually come back to you and say, oh, thank you, or oh, hey, good job, or anything like that. I, often I don't even know, you know, if it's beneficial or not. But I've learned over the years to trust the Lord, you know, and that if He, at points in time, you know, says something about it, then, you know, I go, oh, cool, God noticed. And, you know, isn't that really better than having a huge accolades of thousands of people or having people come up and compliment you when they don't mean it or send you cards or flowers or do whatever it is that they do, you know, to reward you for what you're doing. Isn't it better sometimes to just have that secret little quiet time with God where he says, I saw. And you go, cool. <laughs> you know, and you get blessed because it's something intimate between you and God. Those to me are the best times, you know, and those are the things that I live for, you know, is that intimacy with my father that he gives to me when I when I need to be encouraged sometimes that what he's having me to do is accomplishing his purpose. In utmost, diffusiveness of life, rivers of living water from John 7, 38. A river touches places of which its source knows nothing. And Jesus says if we had received of his fullness, however, However small the visible means of our lives, out of us will flow the rivers that will bless to the uttermost parts of the earth. We will affect others. We have nothing to do with the outflow. That is the work of God that ye believe. God rarely allows a soul to see how great a blessing he is. A river is victoriously persistent. It overcomes all barriers. For a while it goes steadily on its course, then it comes to an obstacle and for a while it may be blocked, but it will soon make a pathway around the obstacle. Or a river will drop out of sight for miles and presently emerge again, broader and grander than ever. You can see God using some lives, but into our life an obstacle has come and you do not seem to be of any use. Keep paying attention to the source and God will either take you around the obstacle or remove it. The river of the Spirit of God overcomes all obstacles. Never get your eyes on the obstacle or on the difficulty that is before you. The obstacle is a matter of indifference to the river, which will flow steadily through you if you remember to keep right at the source. Never allow anything to come between yourself and Jesus Christ. No emotion or experience, nothing must keep you from the one great sovereign source, which is Jesus. Think of the healing and far-flung rivers nursing themselves in our souls. God has been opening a marvelous truth in our minds, and every point he has opened up his indication that a wider power of the river, he will flow through us. If you believe in Jesus, you will find that God has nourished you in mighty torrents of blessings for others that you had no idea that you were being used in such a way and trained in such a means that God was able to infuse you with his wisdom that you had no way of learning on your own or taking credit for of yourself, but that it is he it is he that works in you both to will and to do his good pleasure to accomplish through you by his river of living waters to feed thirsty souls that are around you that have no 
acknowledge them of the intimacy that you might have experienced in a way that brings to them a more personal relationship with God than they would have had without you. So, for myself, I enjoy the times of blessing, and I enjoy the times of dryness, and I enjoy the times of filling. But most of all, I just spend each day trying to take the time to be with Jesus in a simple way, and then let him have his way to go throughout my day arranging and rearranging and causing the things to happen that he wants done. Because it's easy for me to get in the way, but it's a lot funner to let him have his way. Don't you think? I think so.